all right what's going on guys welcome back to the channel welcome back to another episode of vinland saga this episode dropped today somebody hit me up in discord and said dude you gotta go watch this episode so i said you know what let me just knock it out since i'm gonna be doing reactions today anyways let me just knock vinland out i usually don't do vinland until um tomorrow but hey let's jump into it and let's see what happens that said this is a hype episode um so we're gonna watch it episode six of vinland saga let's get it let's go um last episode we got to see um a little bit of training from thorfinn you know him getting into you know what i'm saying like um going up uh, um against Askeladd and trying to beat him got put in his place but Askeladd did make him a promise though he did make him a promise he said um basically the promise is between wars like i'll give you a fierce shot at me when i, I don't even remember what that <laughs> i don't remember what exactly was the was the promise but he did he did promise him that he would give him a one-on-one -on -one, you know when the time is right or i don't remember what exactly the promise was um, listen guys, I'm telling you this right now. It's not that I don't, re it's not that I can't remember stuff. It's that I have so many things on my mind sometimes. It's, it's just like, and right now, even right now as I'm doing this, I have a slight headache, but I have to get these reactions out to you guys. And, um, it's manageable. It's nothing, you know, overpowering or anything like that. It's just a really slight headache that's there. And so let me knock some reactions out. So I'm going to try to knock out some of these anime stuff because I just finished up Rome. Um, so I'm going into the process of choosing what I'm going to do next um, after Rome. So right now we're kind of in that weird space. I'm also going to be doing an episode of Vikings today too. So let's see what happens, man. Let's jump into this episode and see what happens. That promise was was exactly what he wanted to hear. I don't remember what the promise is. And, and see, the thing is, I'm not going to be here pretending <laughs> like I actually know or remember what, what this what this promise was. All I know is it was a promise between Askeladd and Thorfinn and Nape, and it was a really heartwarming moment. Recognition by Askeladd to Thorfinn because he knows. He knows the blood of the great Thors is running through that kid, man. So let's get it, man. Um... There's also the reaction or the message that he sent back to Floki that was kind of like, you know, he died a regular death. You know what I'm saying? We all know Thoris did die a regular death, bro. That guy went out like a G. So let's jump into this episode, man, and see what's going on. You know what to do. Link is down in the description. Go watch the full reaction and come back for my review. And I will see you guys there, okay? So let's go Terror Squad. All right, so let's talk about that episode. Let's break it down layer by layer, man. This episode was one of those episodes that you kind of don't know how to feel about it because, you know, you want to see your boy Thorfinn get his, get work in and stuff like that. But, you know, there's this conflict, you know, as the viewer, as in, you know, you know, choosing a side and you don't really want to choose a side because if you choose a side make it seems like you're cool with other people getting murdered <laughs> you know what i mean when it's the middle of a war they're kind of like mercenaries okay the group that thorfinn is with they're pirates they're kind of like mercenaries so they, they they get paid to do the work you know what i'm saying they get paid to do the work um so it, it just cre it creates this conflict for you as the as the viewer is is like we don't know the english we know the vikings right we know the vikings we are coming up with a character that's a viking so it's um for us for for us it's gonna be more easy for us to choose the vikings over the english because we don't know what their side of the story is these people are in their land enjoying their land and the Vikings are invading, killing them. 
<laughs> you know what I'm saying? And then you have the conflict of Thorfinn being rescued by an English woman and her and her daughter or granddaughter. I'm I'm not sure. Um, and taking him in, taking care of him, and and then it end up that they found out that he's a scout and he called in the rest of his buddies, the pirates, whatever. But I think. In, in other words, I, I we, we all know that Thorfinn is doing this not for approval or anything like that. He's doing this because he needs to prove himself so he can get that one-on-one -on -one so that he can go back, um, do that one-on-one -on -one with Askeladd and get his revenge for his dad. So at this point in time, that's where I'm seeing him. And that's the reason why he, he's remorseful. That's why he told him to run because he still has to do his, his job, what Askeladd told him to do because he's an impromptu part you know what i'm saying part of the crew right now so it create it's there's still that conflict there's still that desire um for us to 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 not to 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 not really think about what's really going on you know what i'm saying but at the same time at the core of it that's the conflict that it presents is kind of like um, a similar situation that's hap that happens in um, Attack on Titan. You really don't know what's really happening on the other side of things. I don't want to talk about no, no spoilers. You really, really don't really know what the agenda. You know, they, they just seem evil, all these Titan, and then it, it turns out that the, the, the Titans are not really the Titans you thought they were. And you know what I'm saying? It just creates this conflict of you thinking, like, morally. You know what I'm saying? Because all this time we were rooting because all these Titans want to do is eat these people, and then it turns out, oh, shit, <laughs> they're Titans this whole damn time. So it was like yeah don't know what to do now but yeah i don't want to talk too much about that because i don't want to go into spoiler territory because probably there's somebody that watches this that doesn't watch attack on titan so i don't want to play it too much but anyways it's it's kind of like in this in this episode that's where i find myself where i it's like i didn't want to get too excited about Thorf what thorfinn was doing because in a certain way it was wrong what he was doing but he had to do what he had to do because his main goal is revenge you get what i'm saying it's kind of like you know if you want to compare it to I, I like comparing stuff to naruto get over it um when it comes on to sasuke is his goal ultimately was to kill his brother right his goal his ultimate goal was to kill his brother and he would have done anything to do that to get that done to get that revenge done you know what i'm saying and it's kind of like the scene a little bit of similarity not story wise but conflict wise as in inner conflict so i like that aspect of it where the viewer you know what i'm saying like if you're not in any conflict over what just happened in that episode I don't know what kind of person you are. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Because anybody that has a damn soul should look at that and be like, man, what if I was in that situation? Would I have still, you know what I'm saying? I, I probably wouldn't have went through with it. I probably, I, you know, telling them to run was the right thing to do, but he did not stop when he saw the old lady. You know what I'm saying? He didn't stop. He killed the dude anyways. You know what I'm saying? So, he did what he had to do, and it is what it is. So, it was pretty deep, man. Um, otherwise, you know what I'm saying? That was pretty much him getting older. I'm glad that that pacing kind of picked up um, in this episode, showing him kind of growing up, um, how he discovered how to use the dual wheel daggers and stuff like that. All that stuff happened in this episode, so that's really cool. I like, I love the pacing in this, that they weren't going to drag that on for too long because we know it was going to happen, you know, from the opening again, okay? Hopefully, the next opening is not so revealing. I hope people are complaining about this because that was some huge spoilers in the opening of this, of this anime, which it shouldn't be, and they keep, the, the anime people, they keep doing this. They do it over and over and over and over again, and they need to stop doing that. Honestly, they can show, they can show new characters. There's nothing wrong with showing new characters. We still don't know what their name is, 
You get what I'm saying? There's nothing wrong with showing new characters, but showing, you know, obvious stuff that people can pick apart is not cool. You know what I'm saying? Like, I don't like that, and that's why, you know what I'm saying? Like, from now on, I'm if there's new openings that come out, I'm not going to watch it. I might listen to the music because, you know, I don't really need to see the images okay so that's what i'm gonna start doing with openings if i'm gonna watch openings if you guys ask me to watch openings and endings okay you know if you ask me to do that that's pretty much what i'm going to do so i'm gonna be skipping that so i'll see you guys later man as always you're a terror squad remember to comment like on leave a like on this video leave a comment and also subscribe if you have not subscribed to the channel and you're a terror squad I am Mr. Terabyte Reacts, and I will see you guys for the next episode of Vinland Saga. Make sure you check out the rest of the stuff on the channel, of course. Thank you guys for listening. Peace.